What's up everybody and welcome back for another streaming tip video. Today we're creating text emotes in Photoshop for Twitch. Text emotes add personality and flair to your streams and today we'll show you step by step on how to create your very own designs. But before we do, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is head on over to Photoshop, create a canvas size of 600 by 600 resolution of 300 your background is going to be white and then click create next step is to click on the text tool and i'm going to choose the font impact so click on our canvas and i'm going to type sub hype so to resize the font click on sub highlight sub select the font size do the same for below and select hype and bring it up to match either side of sub and as you can see, it, it's not matching up correctly. So we're going to pop on over to the right hand side over here. And we're going to adjust the space in between sub and hype. Okay, so we want to adjust this to around 50. That will bring it up in line. We're going to readjust the sub at 72. Then you're going to select the move tool. And move this down slightly. We're going to bring it out a bit more. Control T. And if you hold down Alt on the keyboard and stretch it out. The next thing we want to do is head on over to the right hand side and click on our sub hype text. Just double left click. That will bring up the layer styles and we're going to add a stroke. So here we see I've added a 13 pixel stroke on the outside. Normal blend, opacity 100 and for the colour I've used an opposite darker colour just for it to stand out a bit more. And for anybody that's following along with this, you don't have to pick the colours I've chosen. You can choose a colour that's going to go along with your channel style. So the next step you want to do is click on Inner Shadow. Blend Mode is going to be Normal. Opacity is going to be 100. Angle is going to be 114. The Distance is 4. The Size is going to be 3. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is click on Gradient Overlay. Blend mode is normal, click on gradient, so there is presets here already that you can simply just click on and select the one that's to your fancy. But I'm going to go ahead and use this colour here that we have set up already. So click OK, so your style is going to be linear, your angle is going to be 90, so you want that lightness coming down into a dark. And we'll set our scale around 60%, so click OK. So the next step we're going to do is get rid of this white background so click on the lock and there we have it a transparent background so when we go to export as a png we won't get that white background when we upload to twitch and we're going to create a smart object of the text so we can easily create other emotes with the same text effects so go ahead and right click on the text and simply select convert to smart object and double click on the smart object thumbnail to open up another canvas with the same type and here we can create another emote that i'm going to show you how to do so double click on your subpipe type gg select the move tool and hold alt and pull out to the side just bring it down a little bit more and there we have it we created another emote in just a couple of seconds so from here we're going to save it a quick way to save is shift Control, alt and s Click on PNG24, unlink the chain, our width is going to be 112 by 112, click save. So this is going to be a GG emote, and click save. And we're also going to save this as a PSD file, so if we want to come back and create more, we can. So Alt Shift, and whatever you want to name it, I'm going to name it text emotes, and click save. And the next step I'm going to show you is how to upload on Twitch. Once you're over on Twitch, you want to go to create a dashboard, so click on your logo, click on viewer rewards, emotes. And from here, we're going to upload our emotes that we've just created on Photoshop. So click on Upload New, Standard Emote, select Upload Image, and select one of the emotes that we just created, and click Open. So there's no need to create other sizes in Photoshop, as Twitch will automatically resize them. So let's name our emote that we just created, and click Upload. So let's assign a slot for this emote. Click on Slot Assignment, Tier 1, or Open Slots. And there we have it uploaded straight away. And the same goes for any other emotes that you've created. You just follow along the steps that I've just shown you just there. Well, that's it for this tutorial on creating your own text emotes. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Until then, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.